Muhammad Ali Agel. Muhammad Ali Agel is, I don't even know, I don't know exactly what he does. I just know he just churns out e-commerce dollars, builds businesses. I know he's doing, he's building info products. He's building a SaaS and he just still legit slams up big numbers all the time on, on all sorts of different e-commerce stores. So Absolutely. let's talk to the people out there who are just running traffic to their stores. What are the stages of what we call single product funnels? Now, I, because I, I, there's, there's, there's multiple, you know, I'm sure you have a whole protocol for, for, how, for how you do this basically. The bottom line is you should always treat your store as a funnel, right? Um, but then what are the ways to get into it? What are the stages of that? So basically, for people who are like, let's say they own a storefront, whether on Shopify, WooCommerce, or whatever, mainly Shopify, uh, the idea is if you have a working product, you may want it to move it to an actual sales funnel. When I say sales funnels, I'm talking like pure direct response funnels, landing pages, pre-sales, uh, one-page checkout, uh, one-click upsell, and so on and so forth. So to give you like the whole process in a nutshell is you test on Shopify, products are working, you move them to a sales funnel, and then now with the technology and apps and all of that, you can push all these orders back from the sales funnels back to Shopify. Now, even with uh, some apps, you can even have your sales funnel on Shopify. So you can have your landing page on Shopify, you can have your one-click upsell, like the checkout happens on Shopify, and then your one-click upsell happens on Shopify. But the only main thing, I guess, with ClickFunnels is the loading time. It, it sucks. It's just you have to sacrifice. <laughs> it's such an easy platform to use. Like, I know. It's, it's, it's a beautiful platform to use for usability, but that's inherently going to have a lot of code bloat, right? Exactly. So it's it's super easy to build a funnel for e-com and you know like the changes, it's literally drag and drop, which is amazing. But then the load time, especially if you're pushing like uh, paid ads, you want that thing as fast as you can. And now even Facebook is uh, like they will they are penalizing people with heavy load time. I think over 3 seconds load time and they start like uh, increasing your CPM. So, uh, so basically after we build it on ClickFunnels, we move to the first stage where we move like the first page, at least the first page, that one that loads from the ad, we move it to hard coded. So it loads like in one, probably one second, 1.5, right? And we use like all of the tips and tricks of, uh, of, I guess, fast loading, you know, optimizing the images, the videos, the GIFs, lazy loading, et cetera, et cetera, doing this, right? And obviously, like, I honestly, um, I don't work 16 hours a day. Uh, in most cases, I work probably 30 minutes to one hour a day, if I'm lucky. If, yeah, I, I just, uh, and the business, like, day-to-day -day business stuff. Because we build systems and we outsource everything. So I guess, like, what I struggle with, it will be me not, uh, w not moving fast enough. That's something I struggle with a lot. Like I want to move, you know, when I tell you like massive and perfect action, literally I want things to move like a thousand kilometer an hour. Like where we, I want it to be a rocket, not a plane. Makes we want sense. to reach at that outer space. That's life is a bunch of experiences and you want to build as many of them as you can. And that's how you grow. Right, man. Brother. It's going to be fun. All right, brother. Enjoy. Thank you everyone. Uh, Thank you, Eric, for having me. Peace. Peace.